Time is a never-ending string of possible and impossible events, moving forward towards oblivion. We're all going to die, and it will happen. I want you to take a minute and imagine death. Just take a moment, have a cup of tea maybe, like the video perhaps, and imagine what death would be like. If you're picturing a black, empty darkness, then I'm afraid you're very wrong. So wrong, in fact, I'm going to beat you to death when I find you. Cringe. <laughs> How could you see or be in any sort of black, empty darkness? if you're not there to perceive it. It would be nothing. There would be no black, there would be no darkness. You would see and feel nothing because your metaphorical soul has left the building. Your brain has ceased functioning. It's night night, see you later. If you were a good person, you'd probably be partying with Morgan Freeman or Betty White. And if you were bad, well, I don't think it'd be very wise to describe who you would be partying with. No matter how we live our lives, the line run dry in the end. Now we have those lovely existential crisis juices flowing. Let's look at the string that is your life. I imagine you were born on a certain day, on a certain time, weighing a certain amount. Maybe, maybe you had hair, maybe you had teeth. I don't know, congratulations. Probably the biggest achievement any of us actually have to our names. Anyway, throughout your life, you have probably done things. You've probably been to places and you have definitely made mistakes. This was a mistake! I know I have. This was a mistake! Once I helped a friend from college get so drunk that he threw up freshly eaten curry. And I mean fresh, like straight down, straight up. It was it was really bad. I regret that so much. Uh, he's having a kid now as well. Jesus Christ. It's a mistake! Another time, I slept past my alarm to the point that I missed my shift at my night job and ended up losing it on the second day. It's a mistake! What I'm saying is, we all make mistakes. And they're a part of the metaphorical string that is your life. Your hopes to become a dancer. Your dreams to marry a nice man, even though you rather like the look of Keith. The same Keith who was last seen slumped over at a party after downing six shots and decided to make love to a burger on the floor in his pants. The same Keith whose biggest achievement outside of being born is getting kicked out of a pub for bringing up Brexit. The same Keith who adopted seven dogs only to realize he was very allergic to dogs and then listed them on Etsy. What I'm trying to say here is Keith is a bad choice. No, Everything you do and cringe. say will always be on the strength of time that is your life. Nothing can be erased and there are no do-overs. This is a one life run. And if it isn't then I would really, really like a reset. Please. I, I, I really need it. Please. Please. I think when all is said and done, we should be happy that this is our only chance. I think we should embrace it. We should embrace the chaos, the madness, and the Tuesdays of life. I realized that a little while ago, whilst I was standing at work, it was a slow shift. Like, a very, very slow shift. Like, slower than me getting out of bed in the morning. No one's gonna understand that reference. So I don't know why I said it. I was very bored, and it was Tuesday. The categorically correct answer to what day is the worst day of the week. It's not Monday, and it's not Wednesday. So you're right in the middle of, I'm halfway through, I'm just starting. It's just depressing. I hate it. I was standing there at the counter, and I was idly thinking about the things I would do when I get out. As if I was a prisoner on parole. In my defense, on days like that, technically, I am a prisoner. 
they won't let me leave because apparently it's my job and it's in my contract. But if you ask me, it just sounds like an excuse to keep me in this hellish boredom and torture that they thrive upon. You got a family, Phil? <laughs> However, as the clock ticks closer to 10 p.m., I realized, holy shit, I'm wasting my life. I'm standing here, serving customers, pulling pints, making small talk, then going home to eat a full jar of chocolate spread, only to pass out on my couch from a sugar crash. I'll then wake up and do the whole fucking thing again. I allowed myself to fall into the cycle of chocolate spread and sadness, which if you ask me, is definitely the most depressing state I've been in. But god, that chocolate spread was nice. And I had that thought that most people do. The same thing everyone wants to do around the new year, only to give up in a week because they've had seven cheat days. I'm looking at you, Sandra. Very specifically you. You can't say you're on a diet if every day you're being naughty. Hmm. I decided to turn my life around. And would you believe me if I did? If you said no, I would be truly head. I started going to the gym. I fell off a trip. I started making food that isn't chocolate spread, like toast and cereal. I set my kitchen on fire. Oh! Oh, shit! This was a mistake! I started smiling at work until an old woman screamed at me because her order was slightly wrong because she asked for extra onion rings and the onion rings weren't brought out. But it's alright, we've got some in the kitchen, I'll just go and get them. No, I want to speak to your manager. Why do you want to speak to my manager? Because you're a bitch. Alright, oh, well you're good aren't you? I'll go get the manager and whilst I'm at it, I'll fucking get my knife. I imagine you're asking yourself, where the fuck is this deranged square going? He's rambling about chocolate spread and string and old women as if that has anything to do with life. And you would be right, dear viewer. It does seem like rambling. However, I promise you now, it's all about to make sense. Consider this a magic trick. Is this your card? No. no. Check under your foreskin. Consider this nonsensical ramble a metaphor for the string of time that is your life. It's messy and confusing and sometimes it can be really hard. Every now and again a man called Keith eats a burger like he's trying to make love to it. But within that madness, there is a sincere amount of beauty. Chaos, so wonderful. You just have to stop and say, wow. Because as mentioned, we're all gonna die. But we don't have to live dying. We do have the option to die living. We can seize the day in the most mundane yet thrilling ways. Order yourself that large coffee. Go play pool with your friends after work. Ring your mother for a chat. Seriously, call your mum. When was the last time you called her? I bet you it wasn't this week. I bet you haven't told her you loved her in a little while. Tell your mum you love her. Or I will kill you. Look at the moon and think Jesus Christ. That's a big rock. Go play Smash Bros with Anon, only to have your ass sized up by Anon. He just doesn't stop. He's so good at Smash. All I want is a victory, man. Anon, mate, stop fucking me in the ass. Take everything you can from life. Because we don't know the length of our strings. I realised that rather recently as well. We don't know. We could be dead tomorrow. We could just die in our sleep. There's no way of knowing. And in the end, if the door's still gonna be waiting for us. And isn't that the fun bit?
they absolutely murder the content creators that they're obsessed with. So I've been covering this quiet situation ever since stuff went down about a week, two weeks ago. Hey guys, I want to talk about a lot of the stuff that's been going on online lately, whether it's through YouTube or Twitter or places like that. If you guys enjoyed the video, smash like, subscribe, or I'm going to beat my wife. Bye.